Hello, and welcome to the five best targets to image in October. We will pick our three favorite objects to photograph as beginners, and we'll tell you why. We'll also be adding two difficult targets for our more advanced viewers. Let's get to it! Welcome to October, the Halloween month. So we have five targets for you guys, three beginner ones and two advanced targets to photograph in October. So do you want to go and I'll start? start? Yeah, I'll start with the first beginner target, which is M31, the Andromeda Galaxy. Probably one of our favorite galaxies and, you know, maybe Antoine's biased favorite since it was the one that you captured that you were super duper happy to get. No, it's the one that I, I saw the first time with my binoculars. I was alone in the desert and I saw it and I was so happy after like two hours of trying to look for it and I, I saw it and I was, oh, I was so happy. A very impactful target for us, which uh, we would agree that is a really, really great beginner target for you. Not that hard to capture. Episode 4 of Galactic Hunter is about the Andromeda Galaxy with a DSLR camera. So go check it out, um, we have a good picture with uh, the T3i and show you how we did it. Uh, so that was nice. And then my uh, pick for this month would be, I would say, M33. <sighs> As I was saying, <laughs> M33 uh, for this month, which is pretty close to M41. It's the second largest uh, galaxy I've seen from Earth and it's also a great target for beginners, um, so yeah. And no matter if you're Hotel California, California Dreaming, or California Knows How to Party, we can all agree that the California Nebula is pretty awesome. It is definitely, a, I think that's a target that requires a lot of HA. Yeah, it's pretty much full of HA. And even though it does require a lot of HA, it is a really good beginner target. So we, sh we suggest to actually use a filter for that. If you don't have a filter, you can still try it, but if you do have a filter, an HA filter, really go for it. It's so easy, it's so large, so bright, it's fantastic. Then we go to advanced targets. What will those be? The Spaghetti Monster Nebula. What? Just kidding. Oh, excuse me. I know. He didn't know I was gonna say that. Cause you guys know, Flying Spaghetti Monster. Anyway, the Spaghetti Nebula is one of the advanced targets that we have for you guys. Why is it hard to get? Well, it's full of HA, once again, but it's much fainter and it's so huge. So you can't really use a telescope for that unless you do a mosaic, which mosaics are pretty- Super hard. Pretty hard and annoying to I do don't like mosaics. Place. Uh, but um, you would, so you, we suggest trying it first with a DSLR camera and a lens with an HA filter for DSLR cameras. Um, this one is, a, Let's not lie, it's, it's difficult to get, yeah. Um, and then we have a, the last target for this month, which is a difficult one as well, but... We like still it, okay. yeah. The Phantom Galaxy, which is mm. Messier 74. Uh, this one got its name because it's so faint. Uh, I think its surface brightness is one of the lowest of all the Messier objects. And we have a video about this as well, an episode, I think it's 11. Uh, go check it out. Super fun. The guy who discovered it, he spooked himself. <laughs> that's a good one. And, uh, and um, yeah, that's a, a great galaxy to capture. It's kind of small, but still good. Um, so yeah, that was, those were all the five targets we have for this month. So while we go party for Halloween, how about you pick a target for yourself and go image? Um, so we'll see you guys next time. And once again, don't forget, we have our book available if you want it. It's all the targets for the whole year the easiest targets uh, for each season. And we also have this online um, on our website if you want to check it out. So we'll see you guys next time. And kiss guys. <laughs>